Well, I'm back at the field that we were in last week, Steve and myself. <clears throat> I'm on my own today, he's working. This is the field. Oh, I'm at the end, that's nearest the farmhouse, which is down here. Up there is the road that noises I've just had uh, a good signal. I'm testing these two out together against each other. The 18 Max and the Equinox <coughs> 600. I just had a signal which was 75. Which was 75 on the on the max and 17 on the equinox and it's a pistol ball it's almost big enough to be a, a musket ball but it's sort of like a medium sized one so it's either a big pistol or a small musket <laughs> there you go lump of lead jolly good only about six inches deep right let's crack on and get another one oh this is signal number two this was a bit deeper, this one. This was 80, 81 on the 18 Max and 19 and 20 on the Equinox. And it's a buttload. <laughs> it's a buttload. Somebody's been having a party around here. <laughs> yeah, it's been taking the old tops off the bottles, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm doing along the edge of this field, first of all. I'm going to go down there and then do a few ups and downs. Then I'll come to this side, which I expect to be a lot more uh, a noisier bit. And uh, we'll see where we go. Uh, a couple of quick shout outs while we're here. Um, I'd like to thank Jeff Beeping Mad, top man, for loaning me his uh, Equinox 600 here. Yeah, very generous man. Always helpful. Check out his channel if you don't know him already, but I'm sure you, you will because he's well known. There we go, and of course, Ben the giant Garrett the Tetrist. He's uh, he does some great videos. They're always fun. Him and his missus Sarah, and historical magpie, of course. My buddy, I'll be out with him tomorrow. We're going to my new permission tomorrow, and we're going to do a little bit of a, an Iron Age fort and some other stuff. So, right. Well, I've come along the edge here. I'm at the end, and I've started coming back again. And I've got my first coin, I believe unless it's a button. <laughs> oh, I can't see anything on it at the moment. Let's have a look. Wow, that is wafer thin. That is wafer thin, look at that. Oh, I have to clean it up a bit and see if I can see anything on it. I'll give it a wash and come back to you. Well, there's nothing on that at all. Absolutely nothing. It is so thin. It is so thin. Can I just vaguely see the top of her head there? I think. Well, I've got a good signal down here, and on the Equinox it's 18, and on my Garrett 18 Max it's 65, and 65 or thereabouts on my 18 Max is normally a big old penny. So I'm going to dig this live, and we'll have a look. <laughs> appears to be a button. Oh, it's good, Nick. Oh, that's a lovely button, that is. My word, look at that. A nice star design on it. You see it? That's in good nick as well, it's all in one piece. I'm fairly sure that would have been a gilt one at one time. Silver gilt. Probably about 18, 18, 20, somewhere like that. 18, 13. Yeah, that looks like it's been hand engraved, doesn't it? That star, because it's misshapen and... Yeah, nice button. I've got a little hole here, about four inches down. I think I've got me a weight, a trade weight of some sort. I've just been off and <laughs> looking for my glasses which have fallen out of my pocket and I can't find them. They're only a cheap pair from Tesco. Anyway, I'm going to clean this out and we'll have a look because I've got my big magnifying glass so I'll be able to see all right. <laughs> clean it a bit more. Hold on, guys. Only be a minute. Oh, something in there, isn't it? Look at that. 
It's got markings in it. Can't really see what it is, but it's a, definitely a tray bait. Ah, oh, I found my glasses. They weren't down there, but in that hole there, which is approximately, and it was right at the bottom there. Uh, seven inches, eight inches deep. I found this oval tag, and it's got some uh, numbers on it. It says 56, I believe. So where's my big magnifying glass? Give me a bit of Ah, 56, right in the middle there. It's either 56 or 5C. <laughs> we'll find out later. Okay, so guess what it is. At first glance, you'd think that was a valve from a car engine, from a petrol engine. But it hasn't got the bits that it needs on the end there to hold the collets and the springs and everything. And it's got a big piece of iron in the middle, so it must have had a screw thread sticking out the end here so it looks like it was screwed into something but what would it be could be a foot off something but that's very thin for a foot isn't it six inches down we've got a button it's like a shirt button this one it's quite small got a bit of a pattern on it there and if you can see that all right you probably can probably see it better than me yeah a nice little copper button Copper and I, I bet that was gilt as well at one time. Wow. What do you enter there? Oh, oh, looks like an alien having a look around. Mm, 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 mm. A bit like E.T. <laughs> Not really. Um, well, it could have been a key of some sort, but it, it's got some iron in the end of it there, which was giving it a bit of a grunt on the old signal. Hmm. Another intriguing object from this field. Well, he was a deep one. Another pistol, oh, look. A bit smaller than the last one. He's had his nib clipped off the top, look. You can see the two, two halves of him. I don't know if everybody knows, but the way they used to make these was they had like a pair of scissors with two bowls on the end. When you closed them, it made the, the, the globe and there was a hole in the top where you used to pour the, uh, the lead pour the molten lead it used to leave a nib sticking up into the hole where you poured it and they'd um, bite it off with lots of scissors yeah <laughs> well I've just pulled out a lovely coin out of there I'll show you this side first I'll show you under the magnifying glass that is George the third you might even be able to see him, but I'll get, I'll get the magnifying glass. Here we go. That's George the third look. And that is a farthing. A George the first farthing. And it's 1773 because I've already looked. It is in such good condition. Look at that. 1773. Yeah, Britannia. Lovely. Let's see if we can get a few more of these, eh? Right, here's one for Dino. Can you guess what it is yet? Mm -hmm. Can you hear it on my machine? Mm -hmm. Let's see what I can tell what they are. Found something. I found a nipple. <laughs> Looks like a nipple. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps it's a nipple guard for a female warrior. Anyway, let's have a look at it. It's got a patterning on it. Huh? It's almost like Oriola. <laughs> it was obviously circular at one time. Let's have a look at it under the uh, under the magnifying glass, shall we? Well, I think I found two of these last time came, but not quite the same shape. A <laughs> big old padlock. That's a 20th century padlock, that one. I found them older than that. Now look, he'll clean up a bit, but he won't be great. But he's a find. Well, I've just been doing over, over the hill there, in that corner. And I'm just walking back to the car now to get some lunch. And I'm swinging as you do. 
and I've just come across a George the sixth half penny. Um, it looks like 44 on the date, but as you can see, it's a bit crusty. I should be able to clean it up. It won't be too bad, I'm sure, when it's done. Mm, this is deep, but it's a big chunk. It's a, a brassy alloy, copper, copper brass alloy, and it looks like a little book look <laughs> with a spine. I can't see if there's any markings on it, but we shall have a look when we've cleaned it up later. Well, I've just dug a wheel nut out of there, but uh, I want to show Steve, historical magpie, sir, the, uh, how hard this ground was last week. That rain, it's going wonders, look at that. One, one scoop, and it's out, look. <laughs> it couldn't be any better for digging, it's great. <laughs> I'm just walking back to the corner after having my lunch, swinging as you do, and I found a fish in wait. It's black on this one, look, with it, like a plastic coating on it. It's definitely a fish in wait, it's got a ledger. Normally has a loop on the top with a swivel in it. Ledger weight. You said that fish in wait out that hole over there. We've got another hole here with another fish in wait. This is a slightly different one. This, uh, this variety is for faster flowing rivers, so it sits on the bottom flat like that and the water just passes over the top of it without affecting it, so it uh, keeps its position. One and a half ounces it is, I can see it there on the back. Again it's, uh, oh, the swivel bit's still in there, but it's just lost the loop. Yeah, another fishing weight, what's going on? Oh dear. I don't think that was recording then. There's, I found all those fishing weights just down there. Well, I've dug another hole and I found this one. And it's got a bit of line attached to it still. It looks as if it's been chewed. But if it has been, that will be by pigs. Because uh, they used to say bite the bullet where they give a soldier a bullet to bite while they amputated his leg or something. But that's rubbish. Our teeth and nuts, jaws are not strong enough to do that to lead. Pigs are. Pigs that get rid of anything. Yeah, another fishing mate. I think somebody must have tipped their tackle box over because guess what boys and girls, I got another one. <laughs> another fishing mate. Well, it looks like we have got a lead weight still. <laughs> There's another one. That's a one ounce one, like you see the one. That was in that hole, and in between number three and number one, we've had another one, another one with a black coating by the looks of it. Although this one's, oh, it's paint, that one. Another one ounce one. Oh, they'll all go in my lead box. Yeah! Well, good signal. Lovely button. Can you see it with the flowers, though? Eh? Or flower. Let me get the uh, magnifying glass out. There we go. Hey, what do you think of that then, eh? That's a nice button, isn't it? Unusual, that. It's still got the shank on the back as well, look. The three nice buttons I've had today have all still got the shanks on it. Lovely. Well, from this here hole, we've got a very nice bag seal. There's trademark on that side and something else which I can't read yet till I clean it up properly. And it says by appointment. Mm. Well, I thought I had another coin here. You can see something that looks a bit like a head. <laughs> but it looks more like hay from here. I'll have to do a good picture for you so you can see it properly. Because it's weird. Well, this wasn't far below the surface. We wet it. It said George the Fourth, Father. I don't know if you can see that. It'll clean up a bit nice in this. I'll take some good pictures. It's 1823, I believe. Oh, it's another button. Good condition again. No pattern on it this time, but a lovely, well-made button, look. Could be something on the back there. I'll find out when I clean him up. But he's in good condition, isn't he? Well-made button, that. Probably about 1820. Yep, nice button. 
Well, I'm on my way back to the car because it is so hot. And I'm, I had a long day at work yesterday. I was 12 and a half hour shift yesterday. And it then took me an hour to get home on a 20 minute drive. It took me an hour. <laughs> anyway, you pull that out of a hole, you can, ooh, that's a nice bit of silver. It's got a bit of patterning around the edges, and it's plated. It looks like the edge of a serving tray or something like that. It was a tray, anyway. What is the rest of it there? I'll have a search around here and see if it is. found all those fishing weights just down there. Well, I've dug another hole and I found this one, and it's got a, it's got a line attached to it still. It looks as if it's been chewed, but if it has been, that will be by pigs because uh, they used to say bite the bullet where they give a soldier a bullet to bite while they amputated his leg or something but that's rubbish our teeth are not jaws are not strong enough to do that to lead pigs are pigs that get rid of anything yeah another fishing mate <laughs> Thank you.